Monsieur le Président, Monsieur Ombo, vous avez la parole. Merci beaucoup. Excellencies, uh, all protocol observed. Let, let me start by taking this opportunity to uh, congratulate uh, FAO on the occasion of its uh, 75th uh, anniversary. It certainly, as uh, um, DG and Chiu have uh, said in his uh, introductory remark, is uh, a long journey with uh, a lot of achievement uh, and progress in fighting against hunger and fighting against uh, poverty. Hunger undoubtedly remains a major challenge as we have been hearing from all distinguished um, speakers. And we have heard also how the COVID-19 pandemic is pushing even more people uh, into, into hunger. We know that when crisis strikes, it is the poor and the vulnerable who suffer the most. We just cannot help but be aware of this reality and focus uh, our attention on these most marginalized people, particularly in rural settings. At a time like this, these rural people need our support even more. But we also need them if we want to be strong, healthy, and peaceful societies, first, we need to produce enough, enough nutritious food for everyone. That's where the world's more than 2 billion small-scale farmers come in. Despite the challenge they face, they produce more than half the calorie we consume. And today, with COVID-related travel restriction, interrupting food trade and upsetting the logistic, the role of our small-scale producers is even more prominent. Let me touch on very specific point. One is the importance for us to work in a more smarter um, investment in small-scale farming, investment in input like seeds, in crucial infrastructure like rural roads and storage facilities. This is what if I, we did, for example, recently in Cambodia in partnership with the government, to provide such support to maintain food supply in local market amidst COVID crisis. Second, the small scale farmers must get the product, the products to market. This is even more important at the time when we know markets are closing and transportation services are disrupted. We need to invest in new innovative technologies, especially in digital solutions, in a way to somehow keep markets open, be it virtually. Third, building a sustainable future will depend on rural resilience. And allow me to emphasize this. The COVID-19 pandemic compounds the threats already faced by rural people, including climate change. Unless we take action to boost resilience, climate change will push more than 100 million people into poverty. Half of this increase due to its effects on agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, I will reiterate that if we are to grow food to nourish the growing population and sustain our planet, we will need to work together to increase the investments where they are needed most. 
In closing, let me remind all of us some detail of the investment gap in agriculture sector highlighted recent in the recent published uh, Ceres uh, 2030 report, which has just been released, and highlighting additional 14 billion a year on average will be needed between now and 2030 in order for us to end hunger, to double the income of the 545 million small-scale farmers and limit agriculture emissions in line with the Paris Agreement. This means, roughly speaking, that we got to double the amount of aid given for food security and nutrition every year. This is the task on our hand. Thank you so much, and over to you.